What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna talk about buyer launch software, okay? You know, the number one question I get is, is Cameron, do you need product software to be successful on Amazon? The short answer of that question is yes, <laughs> you do. Uh, you know, it helps you sort through millions of products, right? It helps you, you know, manage, uh, you know, your keywords. It helps you do all sorts of things, which we're gonna go through step by step today. Uh, that way you have an edge against your competitors. It's just, Amazon's just too big. And there's too many competitors out there using product research software and then other um, Amazon software to help them get the edge that it's just, you're gonna need this to compete. And the price, which we'll go over here in a little bit too, uh, along with uh, tons of other tools and tricks that you can kind of use with software and how to get the most out of it, right? The price is not that bad, guys, which we'll go over a little bit. And we'll go through different options too, depending on where you're at. And I'll tell you the minimum uh, of what you need. That way you're not spending uh, too much and you're getting exactly what you need to. So save you guys some money there. Uh, I also do have a 15% off coupon code for viral launch uh, in the description below. Again, optional, this is you know not pushing. I just wanna make a tutorial on viral launch, the software I use uh, currently. Uh, but guys, if you're not familiar with, with who I am, uh, my name is Cameron James. Uh, I'm a seven figure seller. I'm, uh, I manage multiple six figure uh, accounts at this moment. I've been selling for three years now. Uh, and uh, my goal this year is to make a second seven figure account. Uh, so if, you know, if you're new to this channel, uh, if you wanna stay up to date uh, on my journey and just get uh, tips and strategies, uh, please subscribe and hit that little notifications bell at the top there. It means the world to me. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, like I said, without further ado, let's get through viral launch software. Let's, let's go through everything you know within viral launch what you need what you don't need the pricing what you should pay for what you shouldn't pay for hopefully this will help you guys out uh, determining what's best for you right because that's what it's all about is what's best for you in your situation all right guys so we're in uh, viral launch right now uh, this is my account here which we're going to go through uh, you can see all the tabs uh, over here right and we're going to go through each one of these to tell you how to use them uh, if you need them, if you don't need them, and kind of what they do, that way you guys have uh, an edge up and you're getting all the value you can from your viral launch software, and you know how to use it uh, to the best of the ability, right? But first, let's go over uh, some of the cost, right? And, and what I think about that and what I think you guys need, okay? And so you can see this, we're on monthly right now uh, for subscriptions. Uh, you can switch to annual here. Uh, it makes it cheaper, but um, I'm not a huge fan of paying 12 months in advance. Uh, just to save, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever. I'd rather be able to cancel at any time just in case I don't need it anymore. Uh, so if you guys are doing this for long-term, annual could be a good option for you, uh, but I still uh, even do monthly here. Uh, so we go here, the first one is $59 a month uh, and you get market intelligence, product discovery, competitive intelligence, which we'll go over, but this is pretty much just generic generically speaking this is just for product research okay guys so if you're just doing product research you're not quite selling yet uh this is the plan for you uh this is exactly what you need uh to do that so uh, definitely start here if you're uh short on budget here um you can see here we got pro seller for 99 brand builder for 149 kinetic uh for 199 a month and you could see down here guys um for the most part Besides this last one with Kinetic PPC, uh, which we'll talk about here in a bit, they're all the kind of the same. The only difference is the amount of keywords you can track, uh, the hourly keywords you can track, uh, the competitors you can analyze. Uh, so you can see here it just goes up to 100, 100 here, uh, and this one just adds the PPC uh, versus Brand Builder here, right? And so looking at this, right, guys, I'll tell you which plan I currently have, which you can see right here, as I have the pro seller account. Uh, in my opinion, uh, these aren't really worth it unless you're a big, big, big seller with tons of SKUs and you use this a ton. Uh, so $99 uh, per month, I think is the best if you're a seller, which we'll go through all these tools, the keyword research tool I use a ton. If you're familiar with my channel, I go over this a ton because I love it. Uh, Listing builder is kind of cool. Uh, listing analyzer is really cool. Um, one of my other favorite tools is the keyword manager tool. Uh, and I also got to show you the competitor intelligence, which you get for the basic plan. Uh, but I'll show that too. It's one of my favorites. So if you're already currently selling, I recommend the pro seller. Um, and we'll go through all those tools today. But uh, I don't think these are quite worth it. A kinetic PPC, which we'll, we'll talk about right now, actually, is actually a PPC tool that Viral Launch uses. 
uh, it, to help manage your PPC and connect to your account uh, via an API, which, you know, if you're not familiar with that, don't worry, it's just a technical term of connecting to accounts. Um, but I personally don't recommend uh, you using a software to do your PPC, especially in the beginning, uh, especially you don't know what's going on, going on, you need to learn. Uh, I don't recommend that at all. So um, no need for this. Uh, go ahead and do your PPC yourself. It, it's going to save you a ton of money. I think you're going to be able to go a lot further than software too. Software is just not quite there yet for PPC. So just go ahead and, you know, save a hundred bucks per month, do the dirty work and get really good at it. And then when you understand PPC fully, then you can try some softwares to make sure that the PPC software is doing what you need it to do. Correct. Okay. Uh, so moving on here, guys, uh, these are the plans. Also, uh, in the description below, I'll have 15% off lifetime coupon code, uh, for viral launch. And, uh, so, you know, this will take 15% off here, uh, for all these plans on top of this price you see here. Uh, so it'd be down to about $75 per month. And so if you guys need that, go ahead and use it again. Uh, I only do affiliations like this and when it benefits, uh, you know, people like you, uh, you know, and students and the watchers and the viewers, uh, because, you know, I don't really, I'm not here to push anything. I, I'm here to sell on Amazon and share my journey, right? Uh, so if you need it, great. Save 15%. If you don't, don't care. Uh, moving on here. So, okay, guys. So Kinetic, we talked about, right, is a PPC management software. I don't recommend getting that. I don't think it's worth the extra cost. Uh, so let's go to product discovery here, okay? So if, if you guys might be familiar already, you could see I'm actually on, <laughs> uh, I was playing around earlier. Uh, I was actually on the UK there for looking there, but a uh, good segue as uh, you can switch different markets right here if you're looking to sell in different markets. Uh, but otherwise, this is the product software uh, research tool, the web app, you'd call it. And you can see here, you know, all the categories which you could go through uh, and pick which categories you want to sell in or you want to find products in, right? And you can search by criteria here. You know, so monthly revenue, right? So maybe 5,000 to, you know, 25,000, something like that. Average price, you know, keep it above 15, max 75, average monthly sales. I don't really care about this uh, because, you know, I only care about revenue. So if it's $75, obviously sales are gonna be a lot less. Uh, if it's $15, sales are gonna be a lot more. I don't care as long as you give me the revenue, right? Uh, average review count, uh, you know, zero to, uh, 98, something random like that. Uh, keep the reviews low. Uh, so going down here, guys, uh, sales to reviews. You can do a ratio here. I usually don't mess with that too much. You can do advanced filters here uh, and go really in depth, which I don't suggest doing at first, but uh, something to play around with there. Um, and we're actually on category here, guys. Let's go back to product. So we hit all here, monthly sales, uh, units. Don't really care about this, like I said. Uh, let's go. 5,000 to 25,000, price 15 to 75, you know, uh, zero to 98. And let's hit show products, guys, right? All right, so you can see right here, you know, as we go down, you can see different products, how many sales are doing. Uh, BSR, which is best sellers rank within their categories on Amazon. Uh, this is just pretty much how they get their estimates based on um, you know, what Amazon ranks them uh, for seller rank for in their category. And that's how they kind of uh, get their estimates right here, guys. You know, monthly revenue, uh, 23,000 per month. Uh, it kind of estimates profit for you guys here too. Um, G Form Pro Compressions. I'm not sure if that's a big brand or not, or if it's a private label seller, but uh, the price point's high, which is fantastic. Reviews are low. Uh, review rate is 3.8, which is fantastic. Number of sellers, right? And so you can sort, you know, by monthly revenue, right? So we can find people who are doing the, the least, and then we can find people doing uh, the most here, right? And so, because I put 25,000, right, as my top, and so we can search uh, going through this, right, guys? Uh, so that is how you use uh, the product discovery tool. We can switch it over here to keyword, right? Uh, we can mess around with uh, different keywords, okay? So if I hit show keywords, right, I type in my criteria uh, and you can see, you know, uh, pint glasses, uh, viral launch will actually tell you if a lot of people, you know, are getting the same result as you to kind of avoid it, right? So that way there's not a ton of people um, 
going into the same field, right, in the knees. So stay away from these. Uh, Viral Launch does a great job of telling you where not to go. Um, you can see here I wasn't very specific on my criteria. And so let's go hit all categories. Let's go down. And we see that, you know, the top pages are getting a lot of these, right? So maybe avoid it. What I like to do is I like to go to 10 here, right? You see all those disappeared, right? <laughs> so that's what I do here. Large wall calendar, right? 2018, 2019, maybe not the best choice since 2020. Uh, matching Christmas pajamas. Uh, honestly, that'd be a great field to go into because you can change all the time. You just have to uh, be great at inventory management and make sure your designs are proven. Okay, platform booties for women. Not sure what that is, but um, great price point. Uh, 1.5K searches per month, which is fantastic, uh, which this is what shows you right here. You can also just go be on Amazon right here, this keyword, guys, right? You can do this for the product or the keyword. And so you can look right here. You could see these are more in the fashion area. I wouldn't be, um, uh, I'm surprised they're called booties to be honest with you. Uh, but I guess I do not, I do not know women's fashion. Uh, so I shouldn't be shocked there. Uh, I do not like the fashion categories guys with high returns, uh, you know, sizing issues, tons of variations, which uh, jacks up in inventory cost. But you see here guys, you know, you get everything you need to see uh, what's going on. You're, you're searching through so much data on Amazon. Viral Launch is doing this for you. This is help speed up the process of you finding what you need, okay? Finding the products you want, finding the niches you want, uh, and doing all sorts of, of cool creative things, right? Because you see all these fields right here, right? You see all these advanced filters. You know, we can put keywords contains this, right? We're gonna use a certain niche. We can sort by categories. And so you can be creative here and find things that no one else is finding, okay? Next, guys, is brand. Uh, we can go through this and search through brands, right? Uh, looks like I was searching through uh, Amazon last time. I was kind of looking through, I was trying to find Amazon Basics. Uh, not there. Uh, let's let's see here. Let's just, let's go generically here. Let's hit all categories. Growth rate, uh, insane mode. Let's see who's growing the most. Uh, successful top 1%, heck yeah. Uh, total re monthly revenue, don't care. Let's see some successful brands. Uh, no advanced filters this time. Let's show brands. All right, loaded there. Uh, we got Y and M, which uh, I know quite a bit about actually. Uh, Art to Frames, Levi's, Nike, right? They're giving me some big brands here. Um, let's go down. Like I said, I love going to the 10th page and just starting there just because everybody's going through the first 10 pages. Uh, we go down to Stretches Comfort. Let's hit Clothing. Let's hit Clothing and Shoes and Jewelry off. Let's try this again. Uh, just because we get a lot of Nike and Adidas and uh, things like that. Okay, guys, moving on here. Uh, let's take a look. Burton degrees of comfort, uh, proper. Let's let's check this out. Uh, so we can go view on Amazon right away. And you can see it's a men's sporting goods uh, clothing line here. Let's go down, patio, lawn, and garden. Uh, let's go to Amazon, check it out here. Uh, we see there are different types of electric fryers, electric smokers, okay. Uh, sports and outdoors. Let's go check this out. Right. And we got gloves, all sorts of things, right? So you can do this forever, right? And look through everything, right? And uh, you can see here, uh, sometimes for fun, what I'll do is I go back to the first page here and I'll go to monthly revenue, which it is actually tagged to right now. And you can see 2 billion right here. Uh, you can see 1.8 billion here, uh, 822 uh, million right here, which is absolutely absurd okay most crazy thing i've ever seen in my life is i, I never imagined brains doing uh two billion a month on there again these are estimates but you know they gotta be semi-close even if they're just doing one billion i'm i'm shocked and in awe uh, so you can see the biggest brands uh, on amazon this way right and you can keep going keep going uh, so a uh, cool cool way to kind of see that um you know and see different brands and then you can go find their best products right uh, and kind of do research on them, right? And see what kind of products they're selling. Okay, and so let's cancel out of those. Next guy's category, right? Categories are just different, literally all these. So you can just sort by category. And so you get all sorts of uh, cool little categories coming up there, right? You got the root category, then you got the category within the category, which I know sounds like a, a mind bend, 
Uh, but if you're familiar with searching on Amazon, you know there's categories within categories within categories. So don't think too much of it. Just know that this research tool uh, helps you sort through that uh, and it helps your brain think. Uh, so it tells you opportunity scores right here, maturity, how long has it been around, uh, number of reviews. Uh, so guys, this is this is incredible. Uh, four different tabs here to be, um, you know, differentiate yourself from how other competitors or, uh, you know, other sellers are, you know, finding their products, right? And so this is a great way to, you know, be creative and, and get a good start on product research, right? Okay. And so we go to next, right? That's product discovery. That'll be uh, for product research, that'll be what you guys used most, okay? And so let's go to uh, market intelligence. Okay, so what this is, is we can type in any keyword. Let's type in lemon squeezer, right? One of my favorite examples. All right, guys, going down here, you can see, right? We get lemon squeezers, okay? And if you guys are familiar with Viral Launch at all, this should look very familiar, okay? Uh, what this actually is, if we go to Amazon and we go to uh, the Viral Launch Chrome extension, which comes with this for free, right? You can download this Chrome extension, hit this, and Market Intelligence is gonna pop up whatever keyword you're searching, let's exit out of there, whatever keyword you're searching on Amazon, you can go ahead and just hit this little tab, and it's gonna give you exactly this, but on Amazon, so it's a lot quicker, right? It, you can, you can, well, say you're just browsing on Amazon, which is one of my favorite ways to find products, is just kind of searching around, messing around. You can look real quick to see what the estimates are for sales, see the review counts, see the sales depth, right? And so this is a great, great tool. Uh, you can even go in here and track it if you'd like, uh, which we'll go over a little bit, uh, go over a little bit more later, okay? And so, you know, we could see over here, uh, monthly revenue, right? Which, flip and squeezer is super saturated, but uh, super high sales unit margin, which they just kind of estimate for you based on FBA fees, right? Uh, and fulfillment fees, <clears throat> referral fees, right? FBA fulfillment fees, same thing, right guys? Uh, but referral fees as well, and based on uh, an estimate landed cost to your product, okay? And you can see monthly sales, see review quantity, right? Um, keep going down, review rating, review rate, you know, how many uh, sales, I guess how many reviews they're getting versus the amount of sales they're getting, right? So 9%, 10% is quite a bit. Uh, you want a category with lower review rates, right? Because that way you can catch up a lot quicker, right? Fulfillment way, you know, these are all FBA. Uh, you can see Amazon fulfills this one, but sometimes you'll see FBM too, which is filled by merchant. Oh, I think is kind of a dying breed on Amazon just because you don't have the advantage uh, as FBA sellers, which if you're unfamiliar, FBA is this fulfilled by Amazon, it means you're putting their stock into Amazon, Amazon fulfillment centers and they're sending it to the customer themselves, which is what you want, which helps you scale, which keeps your uh, garage nice and clean of boxes. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, you know, net profit, see this goes on and on, guys. You can export into a PDF here, or I guess an Excel sheet, PDF, whatever. Um, market trends, you can see uh, based over you know, a certain amount of time, what's going on, right? Is their sales increasing? Is it decreasing? Is it staying steady? And you can see right here uh, in the springtime, March right here, it kind of pops off, kind of levels out, levels out, levels out. Springtime pops off again, right? March of the next year, summer stays steady, right? Uh, and then kind of sinks into January, which makes sense, right? You're making lemonade in the summer, uh, you know, springtime, you know, people start craving it. Uh, which, you know, I'm kind of getting thirsty right now just thinking about it. Uh, anyways, uh, so you can see sales trends right here, which is super cool. One of my favorite uh, ways to use this is to make sure it's not a super seasonal product, right? And so if you see, you know, 100% right here, 100% right here uh, in the winter, and then summer it just dies, right? And then it doesn't sell again until the winter. Uh, this means it's a very seasonal product. You're not going to sell any in the summer. Uh, you know, depending on what this product is, maybe it's a Christmas ornament or something like that. And so you gotta be aware of that. And that's my favorite way of checking this out. Uh, you can see down here, average price trend, see if the price changes, average review count trend. You can see if there's any spikes there. Uh, via analysis, it will kind of tell you, uh, you know, product idea score has potential two and a half stars. Not my favorite score, but again, this is just like a suggestion. Doesn't mean necessarily that you can't do it. Uh, possible monthly sales, 80 to 4,000. Reviews needed to sell well, 17 to 900. That's probably the one I'm least excited about. 
Uh, that stat right there, sales pattern analyst declining. Okay, uh, so be, care, be, be aware of that, guys. Tips, warnings, alerts. Again, uh, it'll let you know if anything crazy uh, going on here. Warnings, the average review volume is high, which makes it high barrier to entry, right? Uh, which, like I said, is probably the scariest thing for me. Okay, cost calculator, right? This is kind of where I was getting his profit ideas. <clears throat> and again, guys, you could do this uh, up here as well. If you wanted to do this in within viral launch, you can. Uh, but you can see right here, uh, you know, average sale price is $14. Unit weight is a pound. Dimensions, which these factored in the FBA fees. And so, you know, this determines what you're going to pay uh, per item shipped within FBA. Okay. So profit per unit, you see $6.90 here. Uh, referral fee, Amazon fees. Uh, landed unit cost, which is just an estimate, right? And so you can even mess around with this. Say you know you can get it for like 88 cents. No way, I can get this for 50 cents easily. So you can put that in there uh, and you can see your new profit per unit, okay? Uh, at advanced settings, again, it just goes further and further, guys. Uh, so feel free to play around with this. You can see this, this software goes endless, okay? And I'm going over the basics right now so you understand what it's all about. I'm emphasizing the parts that I think are most important, which is uh, market trends in uh, this Chrome extension. So you can go quickly and look to see if any products you're searching on Amazon have potential, okay? Uh, I don't really use this within buyer launch so much, uh, but it is there if you guys need it, okay? Uh, next, guys. So we just did market intelligence. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite tools out there, keyword research. I use this for helping me rank higher, right? Better listing SEO, uh, helps me build my listings out, um, helps me get started with PPC to know what's going on there, helps me find holes in the market uh, for product research. And, and if you guys wanna go further than that, I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel that go over this uh, with Enviro Launch. So feel free, to, feel free to check that out. But otherwise, uh, what this tool does, right? We type in Lemon Squeezer. Okay, you can see right here that Lemon Squeezer, the term itself, uh, volume estimate, gets 30,000 searches a month. Okay, that's, that's quite a bit. <laughs> uh, you can see search volume trend, so it's up uh, 16%, which it's getting to be about springtime, which makes sense to the, the chart we looked at earlier, right? Uh, 204 is opportunity score. What this is, guys, is this is a rating to see what the potential is, right? We can just read this right here. A scale between zero to a thousand that rates a keyword's ranking potential based on its current priority in top performing listings, okay? So what this means in layman terms is it's telling you out of a thousand, how many of the competitors are using this in their title, their listing, their, you know, their bullets, the description, the back end, and how many people are fighting for this keyword, right? And so what this means is that this is not a great, keyword to go after, okay, to, to, you know, lemon squeezer, you don't really have a choice if you did lemon squeezer because it's, it's the biggest keyword by far and it describes your product the best, it's the most relevant, but it's pretty highly competitive, which is, you know, it goes parallel to what we've been seeing based on everything uh, we looked at, you know, so far today, right? Uh, so the higher this score is, say this is a thousand, that means no nobody else is using this these keywords and this keyword phrase in their title, their bullets, their back end, and that means there's a high opportunity for you to come and put that in your title or make a product you know, that is super relevant to that phrase. And then you're gonna be able to rank up a lot quicker, get more sales, get the page one faster, right? Uh, everything like that. So that's what that means, okay? Uh, going back over here, priority score is just how, you know, what's the priority versus this? Again, you can read this. Uh, that rates a keyword's importance based on relevancy and search volume, right? Uh, so. This is exactly what I look for in relevancy, so that's great. To me, this is more relevancy than it is a priority, uh, but relevancy score, there's one for that, how relevant each keyword is. Uh, so uh, you can see here, you know, 132 uh, out of 1,000 versus Lemon Squeezer, right? Lemon Squeezer obviously has 1,000 here. Again, I don't really look into this too much, right? If I wanna see if it's relevant, I'm gonna go view it on Amazon, and okay, you see a Lemon Squeezer here, I see an Orange Juicer here though, and I go down, okay, so I see 50-50, about 50-50 guys, right? Lemon squeezers, the manual ones that I'm looking at versus actual juicers. So to me, it's 50% relevant, but I am not. I can't ignore this, right, because of volume. So uh, it's got 20,000 searches, so I wanna be involved in that market uh, if I can, right? Uh, so average price is the next, guys, right? Average sales, average review count. 
Uh, so it's great to kind of see what's going on, right, in this niche, okay? And so if we go down, right, and we could see all this, all this goodness right here. <laughs> uh, you can see all the volume, right? Uh, what I actually like to do is I like to search our, yeah, search by volume estimate, right? And that way I, I know what's kind of going on, what's the biggest one of my biggest keywords in my market, in my niche, and uh, everything like that. And so what I'll actually do with this is I use this for my PPC. I'll take the top 25 terms that are super relevant and I'll put them in a phrase campaigns and I'll discover my exact keywords, right? Um, which, Cause this is a great place to start, right? You know, these are semi-relevant. Uh, you know what this, you know, the volume is, you know which keywords you should put in your campaigns based on, uh, you know, just looking through here, right? Volume versus relevancy. You could download the CSV here, guys. Uh, which is great because you can just put this in Excel, copy and paste, put it in a PPC campaign, uh, you know, and I also download that to, to start building out and taking these top keywords and putting them into uh, my title, my product description, my uh, product bullets, and my back end, right? And so that way I am having the most relevant keywords, um, you know, with the highest volume in my listing, absolutely, okay, guys? Because uh, you just, you want to be, relevant for all these terms that are getting high amounts of search volume okay and that's what i use that for you guys uh, moving on here uh, another great tool is competitor intelligence okay uh, and so let's use this out and so if we go lemon squeezer right let's take this guy right say we want to compete with this guy uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take his asin take that little guy you can find that there or down in uh, the product description right here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here, we're gonna track competitor. This is where it gets exciting. Hit that, yep, track product. Okay, so what Viral Launch did for us, once you've typed in that ASIN, they pulled all their keywords that they rank for, okay? They pulled them all, which is incredible. And what we could do here is we can see how they're ranking for each keyword. So Kitchen Gadgets bestseller, they're 38, which is you know a huge, a huge category here. Um, you know, I don't think they're getting many sales here just based on the fact of uh, their 38th, right? Who buys from the 38th? Uh, not very many people. So if we go down to Lemon Squeezer here, right? We could see, you know, it's got 30,000 searches. Uh, they're ranked number one, right? It's, it's gonna be super more relevant for the, the product we're selling, right? And so I can infer here that, you know, since we're ranked number one, it's the most relevant keyword it's got the most search data that, you know, most of their sales got to be coming from this keyword, right? And so that's this is why it's so so cool and, and so important to track these keywords. So, you know, if, if I wanted to make sure, you know, what he's doing all the time is track, you know, I, I go over here, hit track at the button right here. If I really wanted to uh, make sure, you know, it's the most accurate possible at all times I look at it, I hit this hourly tracking right here. Uh, which is cool it just updates uh, more for you you only get a certain amount of those per plan right because it you know obviously uh, takes a lot more uh, processing than the rest but you know you can keep going along here right uh, lemon juicer the rank number one so you know it's not 30,000 keywords or 30 sorry 30,000 searches a month right? but it's only it's, it's about 10,000 and so you can be like okay he number one right here uh, super relevant again uh, you can assume that he's making a good amount of sales on this keyword as well. And this is great for you to know uh, to make sure, you know, you're targeting the right keywords, putting the right keywords in your title, right? And when you know, want to launch or do PPC or st and anything like that, uh, you know exactly where those keywords, uh, you know, are. That it's going to be most relevant for your term, right? And so this is a great tool. Uh, and you can just keep going, keep going, see where they're ranked. You know, Lime Squeeze or even number two here. Um, and you just keep going down, down, down. And you can see all these keywords where, you know, he, if he's ranked number one, that means he's selling there quite a bit. Uh, so, you know, it's, you know, it's relevant. Uh, you just keep going down, 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 you know, lemon press, uh, lemon, lemon squeezer press, lemon juicer handheld, right? And it just keeps going down. Uh, so this is a great tool to use, guys. Uh, you, you learn a lot uh, from this and learn about the potential field you're going into, right? Uh, so definitely use this uh, when you're trying to uh, look at other competitors or, or get into a niche that you you potentially want to get into, right? Uh, so uh, moving on here, guys, uh, you know, we're in comp competitor intelligence right here. Uh, I want to go to listing builder, okay? 
Uh, this is a very cool tool. And you can see here that Viral Launch has went ahead and listed out all the parts of your, your listing, right? So your title, uh, your bullets, right? Feature one is actually just your bullets, uh, all the way down to feature five, because you have five bullets. Uh, description is uh, the part down below the bullets, right, on the listing. Uh, Backend search terms, you get five of these fields. And, um, you know, you put all this back in when you're editing your listing on Seller Central, right? Uh, and then you can keep going down and tend to use target audience, other attributes, subject matter, right? Would you get five slots as well? So this is all the keywords in, in the listing fields that you'll have to put things into, right? Put your keywords into, uh, you know, put your creative into your copy, right? Uh, and, but what's most important, you know, when you're doing this stuff, you know, you, you want to write stuff that's going to sell, right? And be, you know, in the marketing perspective uh, for the customer. But you also want to stuff it with keywords, right? And there's a fine line to this, uh, but you know you want to stuff your keywords so that uh, Amazon is indexing you and helping you rank uh, for the most possible search terms as possible, right? Uh, so going back here, we can literally just go back to their keyword research tool here, and this is super cool. And we can go lemon squeezer, and we hit create listing right here, and this will take. All those keywords we just found right here, and they'll put them right here, and you can literally just copy and paste these into your title and make sure you're using them all, right? And you know you could sort by volume estimate, opportunity, you know, uh, phrase or unique here, right? If you want to go single words uh, or the phrase itself, uh, which both have uh, benefits to do so. Uh, but you know, if I type in lemon squeezer in here, you know, it's going to be our number one uh, phrase. What it does is it actually crosses out. Uh, lemon squeezer for all the keywords. So that means, you know, it's telling you that you no longer have to put this in your title. So you can sit there and make sure you get all these different unique keywords into your title, into your product bullets. This way you, you make sure that, you know, you, you get everything in your title, right? You get everything you can in your listing. That way you're ranking and indexing for the most possible, uh, you know, variations of, you know, phrases uh, and keywords, right guys? Uh, so this is great. Great tool here, right? And you can just start filling these in and using that. Uh, <laughs> again, making it super easy to create your listing. A uh, listing analyzer, guys, it will actually take a listing for you. It could take your listing or another person's listing, and it will just tell you if you know you don't have enough photos, if you need to use more keywords, things like that, and kind of give you a ranking system. Uh, so if you know you want to see if a competitor has a poor listing, you can you know, see that and see what kind of advice they have to make it better. So when you make your product, you can make it better. Or if you have a product that you're already selling, you can put that listing analyzer, uh, you know, on it, on your listing itself and figure out what you could do better just overall, right? Uh, next tool, guys, uh, we'll, we'll get to the, the good stuff here. Uh, the keyword manager tool uh, is incredible. One of my favorites, which I've probably said before a couple times already, uh, but this is something uh, that can change the Amazon game for you, okay? Uh, so let's show you how that works. Okay guys, so we're in Keyword Manager here, right? And we can see my lemon and citrus squeezer here listing. It's, it's not live yet, it's just something I made to, to make an example here for you guys. Uh, but if I hit Manage Keywords, okay, we can see what's going on here, right? Uh, I've already filled this in, but you can literally just use, just like the listing creation, you can hit Add using Keyword Research, type in lemon squeezer and transfer it over here, right? You can also do listing analyzer, which will take the backend keywords uh, of competitors or your listing itself. And you can add keywords yourself manually if you need to as well. Okay, so if I go down here, right, uh, we're tracking lemon squeezer by the hour. Uh, you know, I like to hit volume estimate here. But you could see, you know, if we wanna track all these keywords, all we could do is hit track here, right? If we know all these keywords are relevant, I can hit this. Uh, bulk apply and track right here, uh, but we won't do that uh, at this point. But what I want to show you guys here is, you know, say you're selling, right? Just like the competitor analysis, uh, if you were selling here, it would tell you your organic rank for that keyword, which is really cool, okay? It tells you your sponsored rank, okay? You can track it hourly if it's most important to you. So if you're trying to rank for Lemon Squeezer, you might want to track it hourly and you can track your progress right here, okay? You can do this for all sorts of keywords, right? I like to, if it's a competitive niche, I like to go down here, and I like to start with the small keywords first and try to rank, you know, 
two, three, uh, possibly one uh, in those spots. And so I can start getting organic sales from those keywords and start helping me rank up uh, for these bigger keywords, right? And we get into the 4,000s, 5,000s, 20,000s, 30,000s, right? And so it's very important for you to start small if you have to and work your way up. And this is a great way to see where you can start small, right? Another thing why I think this is so, so important is when you, you know, I, I apologize guys for not having a live product in here, uh, but you know, if you saw all these rankings right here, okay, just use your imagination here. So say we're ranked 40 for Lemon Squeezer, okay? And we're getting 10 sales a day, okay? And uh, we're, we're trying to get to the Lemon Squeezer, we're trying to rank out more and more. Okay, so we try something, right? We, we bump up PPC for Lemon Squeezer and try to get more sales there, or we lower our price just a little bit, or you know, we, we mess around with our listing and make sure Lemon Squeezer's in every field of our listing, right? Our back end, our bullets, our description, our title, because we're trying to get ranked up higher for it, right? And so say I did all that and uh, we go back the next few days and we're like, oh, what the heck? We still have only 10 sales a day, okay? We're gonna be like, well, all that stuff I did was for nothing. It didn't work, you know, it, why did I even do that, right? Because, you know, the only way you could track progress is, you know, through sales data, what you're selling every day, which, which makes sense. But Amazon's a lot bigger than that. And, and you need to be able to, you know, look at things in a micro scale, okay? Say we did all that, and instead of looking at our sales that are still 10 a day, right? If we get more sales, fantastic. But if not, we, you know, we think we failed. So let's go back here, actually, instead, and we look at our organic ranking, it's come from 40 down to 30. Oh, okay, so that actually did work. It just, you know, it's not enough to get more sales that day, but we're heading in the right direction, right? Which, you know, if you're in a big competitive field and, you know, the more competitive Amazon gets, this will become more and more important to track your progress microly, okay? And so this is very important because, uh, you know, all people's goals should be, you know, to eventually rank up number one spots for their keywords, okay? And this is the best way to do this, guys. All right, so if you're not using a keyword manager tool yet, I suggest getting one. <laughs> it, it, it helps you track uh, your progress so much uh, better, more thoroughly, and it helps you understand what actually, what's actually going on in the overall picture of your product, okay? Moving on here, guys, uh, we just did keyword manager, right? Uh, which I think is probably the coolest tool that's came out besides the keyword research tool. Um, we have launch services here. Um, so you can, you can launch you know, your product using Viral Launch. Uh, me personally, uh, hopefully Viral Launch doesn't take this offensively. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, there's just too many gray area things going on with launches right now and, and some don't work and some do work. And if you know more about that, great. But uh, in my opinion, these do not work very well. Uh, so I think this is a waste of money. Uh, so don't uh, do launches on Viral Launch or anywhere else, to be honest with you. Uh, again, hopefully Viral Launch doesn't take too offense to that, uh, but I'm just trying to be honest here for you guys. Uh, creatives, they do product photography, uh, listing optimization. So, you know, if you need lifestyles done, I honestly think this is the best place to go for lifestyles for Amazon products. They do a fantastic job. Uh, the only thing I, I have to forewarn is you have to be detailed of what you want with them, but they, you know, if you give them some good direction, which any photographer, you're going to, have to give direction to get exactly what you want. Uh, they will get models, they'll get a nice set, and they'll make some cool lifestyles for you. Uh, it's a bit expensive. Again, I have the coupon code in the description for you guys. If you want to use that, it applies to fo product photography as well. But if you need lifestyles uh, and you want high quality, this is the best place to go. Uh, in my opinion, I've used them uh, tens and tens of times. Okay, listing optimization. If you don't want to write your listing, you know, which I know a lot of people hate doing copy and writing listings. Uh, this is a great place to do that. I've done that a couple of times. Again, uh, coupon code uh, and link in the description below if you guys need it. Uh, split testing, this is interesting. Uh, so let's round it off by talking about this. So if I hit split testing here, so a great way to improve uh, your listing conversion rate is by trying new titles, new photos, and new things all over the listing to see what works best, right? When you're selling 100 a day and you improve your listing by 5%, you get five extra sales a day, that's huge, okay? Uh, so uh, Listing Dojo is actually free. Uh, so if I hit pricing here, it goes down and I have up to 150 active campaigns, which is plenty. Uh, $0 a month, 
uh, which is fantastic. But what they'll do is they actually, uh, you know, if we go to about here, this is probably the best way to, to uh, look at it. We can select a product uh, in our uh, Seller Central. We can choose an element, right? If we zoom in here, we got we can change the price, we can change the images, we can change the title, description, and then we could split test this to see which works best, right? So say if you raise your price, you know, by three dollars, and you still get the same amount of sales, you're gonna make more money, right? So it's gonna tell you that split test worked, which in some cases that's worked for us because some people, uh, you know, just price equals quality to them. So if they pay, pay a higher price, they think they're getting a higher quality and hopefully you have a high quality product to begin with. Uh, so that's kind of cool there. Images, right, is a, is a big one. Uh, and title, uh, description gets a little more nitty and gritty, but uh, we know when you have an optimized listing, you want to take it further. Uh, this is a great thing to split test here, guys. So uh, that is Listing Dojo, right? Uh, to get more information on that, just go to listingdojo.com uh, or get Viral Launch and you can see um, uh, everything uh, in here, right guys? Uh, but that is it, uh, account settings here, right? Uh, you know, we didn't go through everything thoroughly, but I told you what I thought was most important, right? That way you guys, you know, save time. You do, you know, 80, 20 year old, right? So you are being most efficient as possible, doing 20% uh, of the things to get 80% of the results, right? Which is huge uh, in the entrepreneur world. But I hope this was helpful, guys. Again, I got the coupon code in the link in the description below. Uh, you know, you want more stuff like this, uh, any more content, uh, more about my journey, please like this video, subscribe, and if you get any questions, comment below. I'll be happy to answer, guys. All right, guys, thanks for sticking tuned. I know it's a long one, and we'll see you on the next one.